Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're once again back on my free-to-play level 10 account doing some of our trophy pushing inside of Legendary Arena. Now guys, we're rocking this deck right here, the P.E.K.K.A. Graver Control 4.0 average elixir deck i made one small change from my previous episode of this series we've now subbed out the infernal dragon for archers to see if it does any better so we have two major upgrades to do guys in today's video pekka going to level 11 right there we're using some of my trade tokens for that and then we have the graveyard going to level 11 as well so definitely okay with those two upgrades they, sh they should prove pretty substantial for the performance of this deck but overall guys there it is 4.0 P.E.K.K.A. Grave Control. Once again, guys, feel free to support me by throwing in credit code Shane into your shop before buying Pass Real or special offers or whatever. It costs you nothing extra, and it's a great way to help support me and help support the channel. So let's go ahead, guys. Jump in to our first battle. We're currently at 4,761 trophies. Um, definitely have a few trophies to push. Um, I haven't played since last season reset, so... We'll try and push some trophies today, guys. See if we can uh, do some do do pretty well. If I know what I'm trying to say. Um, but this first opponent is level nine. My apologies, dude. My apologies. I have not played since the season reset, so I do apologize for being uh, higher level. I, I I can't help it. I, I I haven't played since season reset. Obviously, this season we have the 25% reset instead of the regular 50%. So curious to see how much that impacts my. Pushing today. That's one peck of shot, maybe two. Oh, <laughs> that was so dirty. <laughs> don't be mad at me, Broski. Please don't be mad at me. I haven't played since, since season reset. It's, it's I can't help that. I can't help it that I didn't play since season reset. It's the matchmaking. It's rigged. I know. It's not actually rigged, but it's just unlike uh, unfortunate that I haven't played since reset so far. Oh, you think you got? Think you got me? Let's well, take the Skarmy here. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, okay, well played. Nice, nice stat spell there, buddy. Nice stat spell. So here's the thing. I used to have the Infernal Dragon in this deck. I switched it out for the Archers for two major reasons. I'm still not quite sure um, if this is the exact deck that I want to uh, play. In the first episode of this series of this account, I asked you guys for feedback. So feel free to let me know down below of what cards I should change to make the deck better. Keep in mind that I am limited by my card levels. But the idea here... So I had Infernal Dragon in there for like Lava Hound decks mostly. And uh, also as a bit of Zap Bait for my Skarmy. But... I found that two things happened. Number one, I had a severely awkward cycle. There were a lot of times I just had like nothing really in hand to do. So like, you know, if I started a game with like... Infernal Dragon, Baby Dragon, P.E.K.K.A. and Graveyard. It's like, what do you do with that opening play, guys? So, switching the Archers for the uh, the Infernal Dragon, it gives me a bit of a better cycle. So now I can go, like, you know, split Archers on the King Tower, for example. It also gives me a range support unit behind my P.E.K.K.A., which is one thing that I was lacking severely, was a range support unit in my deck. Uh, and it also can double as a emergency distraction unit as a swarm because there's two of them so i don't know let me know which one you think would be better guys archers or the infernal d but the first battle was a breeze uh, obviously he's level nine i apologize i apologize i know i know i know but i haven't played since last season guys so it's not my fault ggs oh there we go more graveyards guys my goal here is to get the graveyard to level 12 next and then probably upgrade i don't even know for the legendaries. I don't even know what I, what I want to do. I might just go all the way to max level graveyard. And we'll see how it goes. But we'll keep it going over here, guys. We'll keep it going. Facing another level uh, 10 over here. So that should be okay. This deck is very, very defensive. Very, very defensive. So you want to play defense first. This is cool. Uh, you know what? We're going to go Pekka. Ah, uh, dang it. Bet she's got, bet she's got Pekka as well. I want to go Pekka back here. But I use it right here because my uh, nose was itchy. When in doubt, always blame the nose. That magic archer is going to hit my, not have a tower. It's a little bit too far away. We're going to go graveyard here, guys. YOLO. I'm hoping he doesn't have poison. L. Jackson in the house. Sergeant L. Jackson? 
tuning in for duty. Is that this jazz? Huh. Interesting little, uh... Dude, that P.E.K.K.A shot the Dark Prince there? What in the world? How did that P.E.K.K.A get a shot off? Interesting little uh, interaction there. I'm still just not sure exactly in this deck. This is an experimentation in the process, guys. So, we're building this deck as we go along with this series. So, that's why I said your feedback is very, very important. It, I like having the Archers in there. The major downside of Archers versus Inferno, though, is like... Obviously, Archers died a Fireball. So if I'm facing a Fireball deck and they go Fireball, for example, uh, like if I'm defending a Lava Loon push and I go Archers, they just Fireball and it dies. Whereas if I'm defending Lava Loon and I go Inferno Dragon, uh, they can still Fireball it, but it's not nearly as effective, you know? That's quite why I'm... Uh, it's just... It's hard to say. But then, like... It's so much better for my cycle to have Archers in there. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can use archers, like, behind your P.E.K.K.A. right here to snipe across the bridge. And winning those bridge battles is so important in these graveyard decks, so. Very, 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 uh, undecided so far. So that tower's going down. P.E.K.K.A. destroys everything. I don't even have the P.E.K.K.A. emote, guys. By the way, if you don't have P.E.K.K.A. emote yet, uh, just to let you know, I will be live streaming Monday and Tuesday, March 23rd and 24th of 2020. I'll be live streaming, um... At 2 p.m. Mountain Time, both Monday and Tuesday. So uh, make sure you tune into those streams if you want the emote, because it'll be a uh, giving away a couple thousand, several thousand, in fact, more than two thousand, more than three thousand, more than four thousand. So that should be a three crown aru. One peck a shot, one more. Archer, you got this, girl. There you go, Fitzgerald. Good game, well played, buddy. So. Off to a decent start here so far, eh? Getting some gold. Currently at 713,000 gold. If you're wondering how I have so much gold in this account, because you might be like, Shane, there's no way this deck's free to play. There's no way this account's free to play. You have over 700,000 gold. You're lying. The answer is no, I'm not lying. Dude, one P.E.K.K.A. right there? I was literally one P.E.K.K.A. short from upgrading it to level 11, so I had to trade for it. And then we just got P.E.K.K.A. right there. Are you joking? I would have used that token for poison if I would have got that. Because I want to get these upgraded first before uh, focusing on, on P.E.K.K.A. But, anyways, as I was saying, right here, guys. I've been playing the game for three years on this account. This account is over three years old. That's why I have so much gold. Because I literally just play this account like I would I would live stream all the special events. Go into this account, play the challenges, get all the rewards, and then never spend the gold. That's why I'm kind of like rich right now on this account. Basically, I've only, only ever upgraded one deck. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I got a cough. Everyone, six feet away from me. Cult an army here. Yo, the princess. That's super annoying, bro. Broski, that's super annoying, broski. Broski? Yo, you know what really sucks, guys? I'm going to be brutally honest with y'all right now. I hate... When my card rotation is doo doo. Like, if I would have had Packet right there, could you imagine just going Packet right here, destroying his, uh, his, uh, Mega Knight, and then just winning? That was one of the worst card rotations we could have had to start this battle here. Like, it literally couldn't have been worse of her. Literally could not have been worse of her. I'm hoping he's gotten no Skarmy. <laughs> You got Zaspel? I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> Should I do my evil laugh? No, I won't. It's too cringy. You guys said you've had too much cringe lately, so no more cringe for you. No more cringe. I said no more. I said uh, no more cringe. I said no more. We're going to go Archers here in lieu of the um, graveyard, because this tower's basically dead regardlessly. And, irregardlessly, we have ourselves a dead Valkyrie. GG's. Graver for the 3 crown. So, 3 for 3 so far. I'm really hoping this is recording. It is. It is. Sometimes I record videos and I realize afterwards that it didn't capture game sound. Like, I'll, I'll go back and watch the footage that I recorded and you can hear me, but you can't hear the game sound. And I'm like, ugh. So, I'll, like, go through and, like, record all my battle log. Like, the replays. And I'll just, like, dub it over the battles. 
to try and like fix it because it's like I don't want to scrap the recording because it was a good video. But then there's like you can just like it's not perfect, right? So, anyways, Chino, Mr. Chinoson, good luck, sir. I like how I said I put the archers in my in my deck for a good starting hand, and we don't get them ever. Uh, screw me at the bridge, screw me at the bridge, sir. Chino, what do you think? This is what I mean. This is okay. All right, I can deal with that, dude. Yo, 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 bats. Zaspel, not not useful. I mean, yeah, yeah, not very useful. Please defend that knight with. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated, that sir. Dude, uh, I had no idea what to expect. I was thinking he might go freeze there. Could you imagine he froze that? No, not the executioner. Oh no, 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 no. Please, sir. Please, no. Sir. Sir, please, no. Not using Pekka right now, guys. If he's got Balloon in his deck, we are dead. Because I just used both my air defenses. I'm not even sure about Nightwitch in this deck. Should I sub Nightwitch out for another legendary card? It's always nice to have a few legendaries in your deck. Because, honestly, upgrading legendaries is uh, easier. The first few levels, getting a legendary to level 12 is easier than getting a common or a rare or an epic to level 12. That's why I kind of prefer to use legendaries in my decks on my mini accounts. Because you just get them all to level 12 and it's like super easy. Does he give up? He rage quit? Okay. Let's go uh, gray right, right here. Cool, cool, cool. GG's, GG's. So yeah, I don't know. Legendaries are fairly easy to level up right now. At least those first couple of levels. That last level from 12 to 13 when you need 20, that's a lot harder. But the first few levels are definitely easier. I'm already like partway to level 12 graveyard. And that's just with trade tokens. And I have like five more tokens. So, although I guess, you know, I guess when you trade them all away, you do eventually run out of other legendary cards to trade away. Once I've exhausted my, my reserve legendary cards, if I want to upgrade a different legendary card, it becomes substantially harder. So, Miner in the Corner, guys, very, very interesting play. The archers will go back in the counter push. Hopefully force out a response from my friend. Oh, the wizard. The wizard, guys, we've encountered. The wizard. If you guys missed the news, I did a video the other day, two days ago. There's potentially a rework coming for wizard to make it cost four elixir instead of five. If you guys missed that video, I will uh, not leave a link down below. Just go back to my... My video from two days ago before this one and you'll see it but yeah potentially in may or even beyond not april but potentially may no why sir 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 please do you know that you know what really sucks about that right there guys the, the biggest thing that sucks right now is the fact that i had to use my zaspel versus his meganite just to cycle to my pekka my card rotation wasn't kind to us, and we had to waste a Zaspel to get to my P.E.K.K.A. If my P.E.K.K.A. was swapped locations with my uh, with my Zaspel, if I would have had P.E.K.K.A. one card earlier, I wouldn't have had to waste the Zaspel. We would have had Zaspel for the Infernal Dragon there, guys. That is highly unfortunate. But you know what? It is what it is. It happens. You can't have the perfect combo every time. Part of the battle in Clash Royale is correcting your cycle, regardless of what you have. Now that we know he's got um, Inferno D, we're going to keep our Zap spell for that. Simple as that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mega Knight down here, please. Yes. Now we're going to go Inferno Dragon down here, please. Yes. And then go potentially... Poison this Jazzes. Baby D on this stuff. Zap on the Jazz right here. And then I think we... No, Archers. He's going to go Inferno D right now. He oh, no. He's going to go Miner. Dude, dude, dude. I'm sorry. But, dude. Miner is not a good defense against Pekka. I know you had probably nothing else in hand. I know that was a desperation move by you. But Miner is literally never, never use Miner against Pekka. Especially like right behind like that. Like that's just a death wish. Poor Miner. Good game. 
GG's. Well played. Okay. All right. Doing okay here so far. Three crowns. 4,900. Giant chest. Give me some zap spell. Yeah. Yeah. Should I open my crown chest as we battle or just leave it? Do you guys dislike the crown chest opening between battles or no? Dude, Earthquake back to back. That's weird because I just started using Earthquake on the Global Tourney. I literally play the Global Tourney just to get the six wins. Just to get the epic token. Just to get my package to, to level 11. And then we got one out of the chest that I needed afterwards. ay yeah, yeah, is what I say to that. Alright, so. Whoa, that's the worst Zaspel of my career, dude. Why would I zap that? It's not like Pekka's going to die to Fire Spirits. Why would I even zap that? What was I thinking? What? What was I thinking, guys? I want to pour... Oh, no. Dude. Pekka, one shot, please. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Mr. Helty. That Pekka shot to their hurt. I bet you felt that one. So, baby D down here, guys. It's always a good time for the baby D. And now... Princess, meet Baby D. Baby D, meet Princess. Oh, no. Denied. Yo, I'm going to poison this right here. That's poison value sauce for sure. You know what? We need Skarmory here. That giant skull is going crazy, dude. Honestly, though, the fire spirits kind of make the Skarmory worth it. Skarmory was three. Uh, fire spirits were two. Just an equal trade right there. So I'm perfectly okay with that. So... We're doing pretty well. My major tip to give you guys and girls with this deck is honestly play defense. Focus on playing defense first. Don't be overly aggressive, especially when you are a underleveled player. You cannot afford misplays. More so than ever. You cannot afford misplays. You have to play perfectly. Play defense. Use your towers to your advantage to kind of win those elixir trades. And then... And then you just do stuff. Yeah, I said it, guys. You just do stuff then. Okay. All right. So I see a minion horde. But do I see any kind of from my archers here? He's going to have freeze spell. I have a feeling he's got freeze. Uh, I'm, whoa. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. First time for everything. Gravedry going down. One more baby D right here. And that should be tower. Honestly. Yeah, good game. The The great thing with that, guys, is not only do we kill um, the tower, but we get the minion horror, or the, the, the mini pick down as well. So, Hall goes down here. Noise. Zap this for some zappage. Noise. And if he goes Infernal Tower here, you know what we have, guys? It's Garmy. <laughs> oh, we pulled the mini pack back. Disgusting. All right. Now which does work, Pekka does work, Archers do work, and the tower. That would have been a three crown if we had more time. If we had more time, that would have been a three crown, guaranteed. But I'm happy with the win regardless. 30 trophies, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, Let's keep going. Let's keep going. My goal is to get over 5,000 something right now. My, my goal is to just keep going till we lose, basically. Sir? What do you have in your deck? Please go opening play, because my starting hand is terrible. Ah, Valkyrie. I'm going to go P.E.K.K.A. I raise you a P.E.K.K.A. Do you call, or... Yo, Rocket versus P.E.K.K.A.? Is that the new meta? Is that the new meta, guys? Rocket versus P.E.K.K.A.? This meta is getting crazy. You guys, thought this, you guys thought this meta was crazy already. But it's getting even crazier, man. Yo, get out of here, Inferno. There we go. So the reason I zapped there, this is very, very important, okay? The reason I zapped that Magic Archer there was so that way the Magic Archer wouldn't kill my Night Witch because he was hitting the Pekka and the, and the Night Witch. So by zapping, we forced the Magic Archer to retarget towards the Graveyard, which kept the Night Witch alive. Very, very crucial interaction right there. So... I'm going to go Pekka right here. The archer's uh, 
Look at them, they're like holding hands. Hello, Pekka. Hello, Archer. Do 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 do. Hey, Pekka, that is not six feet. Maintain your distance, please. Guys, the Pekka is a noob. Okay, there we go. Nice. So, Baby D destroying the Magic Archer. And that's dead. All right, we're looking pretty good, guys. We're looking pretty good. Harry Folder. Harry Folder. <laughs> guys, I know I'm cringy. I'm sorry. But that's literally his name. P-H makes the F sound, right? Like phone. You don't say F-O-N-E. It's P-H-O-N-E. So his name is Harry Folder. Hopefully that's not a bad word. Hopefully I'm not saying a bad word by accident. I promise I don't know if it is. Okay. Do the wish is a beast! Just destroys everything, man. Baby D. Destroy the barbarians, please. Thank you. So, I see you have a prince. Hello, Skarmy. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Please use Infernal Tower right now. It's great, guys. I'm on the three crowns. I'm going to go graveyard right here. The wizard just destroys everything. Look at the wizard just tear through my P.E.K.K.A. and my archers. But we... Th oh, come on. Give me the three. Close? Yes? Yeah, there we go. Harry Folder getting three crowned. GG's, man. GG's. All right, so we're on a nice little streak here so far. Next league is pretty soon, and we're just gonna keep on going until we lose. It's gonna be a bit of a longer video. I don't know if you guys enjoy these longer videos. Uh, let me know down below. Let me know if you should. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave every battle in this video in this video, but I'm open to feedback down below on whether or not I should cut out all these battles against the lower levels. And maybe just do like a, a 10 minute video. Not I never do 10 minute videos. I don't know why I said that. Maybe just do a 20 minute video and only include the battles against like level 11s, 12s, and 13s. Only against higher level players. Should I do that? Or uh, should I just include all the battles into the into the video and have you guys just, you know, watch to your heart's content and enjoy what you want to enjoy? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I thought about zapping there, but honestly, we could just go Baby Dragon and encounter everything for two less Elixir than zapping and Baby Dragon. Right? So, here's the plan. We're going to go Night Witch on top of the Wizard right now. Oh, the Dark Prince. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, the arrows. Okay, okay. So what has he got in his deck? Can I go? This is experimental, guys. I want to try something. This is crazy. Graveyard Skarmy. It might work. It might just be so crazy that it actually works. Oh, it, <laughs> it does. New meta confirmed, guys. New power combo. That's my new, th my new thumbnail. Unstoppable power combo. Skarmy Graveyard Push. What the? My Windows was doing something. It says... I just got an email, maybe, or something? I don't know. Windows, don't distract me. I see you, Drewski. Trying to distract me with the windows. I see ya. So, Pekka here, that diverts the attack of the Magic Archer. And then the Archers finish it off. And then we're gonna go Skarmy here to protect the Pekka. Always oh, a good idea to do that. Arrow's going down. That's a smart play by him. And now we're gonna go for the three crime. We know he's got Skarmy in his deck, so we're gonna go Zap here for the Skarmy. Once it goes down, right there. I wish the uh, the 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 night witch knew uh, the the etiquette of social distancing, because she was really really close to that Pekka, and as a result, died to the baby dragon. But we still have three crowns, so I'm okay with that. Uh, GG's well played. By the way, how are you guys and girls all doing with the quarantine stuff? It's kind of crazy out there right now. I don't talk about it too much in videos and stuff, but it's it's stressful right now, man. It is. Uh, I I haven't left my house in a week. I I normally never leave my house anyways because I just live in my basement. But um, it's weird, like knowing that like 
I can't go anywhere even if I wanted to, you know? Being as a, a kind of person that typically never left the house anyways, um, now that the fact that, like, knowing that I can't go out even if I wanted to, it kind of, it's just like this weird feeling. Mostly, like, it just sucks that I can't really visit family and stuff right now. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. But I hope you guys and girls are also just staying safe out there. I hope you're all staying safe. Alright, so. He's gonna poison that jazz. Yo, I don't know why you would go archers there, dude. I mean, bats right there. That was interesting. Do I graveyard or not to graveyard? That is the question. Ah, baby D. No. I don't know why I went baby dragon there, guys. That was a... Oh, you know what? Honestly? Honestly? Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. That's a substantial amount of damage done there. So not the worst thing I've seen. Dapparoo right here. That gets one bomb down. And now he's going to go golem again. Golem, golem, golem. It's golem time. Pekka right here, please. Okay, we're good. Yo, Night Witch, maintain six feet, please. Ah, you're not, you noob. Stupid Night Witch dying to that wizard. Because wizard's a, wizard is an absolute certified beast. Absolute certified beast mode. So, no baby dragon this time, guys. Last time it worked, this time it won't. See? I knew. So, baby D versus baby D. Yo, the archers are, the archers are so strong. How did they destroy the entire tower there, guys? Baby Dragon there. What you got for me now? Bomber? Was that this? There we go. Nice. Zap kills the bomber. Graveyard kills the tower. Baby Dragon survives. And I want to try and go for the three crown here. I suspect we'll see a golem here left lane. Yes, I am correct on my suspicions. One of these here. Was lost onto my pack. I'm going to go Skarmy here for this jazz. The bomber just got annihilated, dude. Did that bomber ever even exist, guys? If a bomber falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it ever even exist? That bomber just got annihilated. Poor dude. Poor dude. Or dudette. We don't know. It's a skeleton. You can't assume. Alright, let's go. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Three crown, please. Dude, dude, give me that three crown. You better be sad. <laughs> uh, well played, well played, well played. Okay, we're now officially over 5k. Doing pretty well here as a, for the most part, level 10. We're not nearly as over leveled on this account as we are on my other account. If you guys don't know, I have another uh, free to play account, also level 10, but it has like basically level 13, level 12 cards. That one's at, at like currently 5,800 trophies. I haven't played that account since reset either. This one is actually more so of a true level 10. Yes, we have a few level 11s. I know, I know. It's so funny, in my last videos on this account, um, I had one card level 11. My Zaspel. spell. Everything else in my deck was level 10. Just one card level 11. Everything else was level 10. And I mentioned in that video that I'm not nearly as overleveled as my other account. And I got so many comments. People were legitimately angry. Like, this dude says he's level 10, has level 11 card. And I'm like, it's just, it's just one card. It's literally just one card. This is Lava Luna. We're dead, guys. We don't... Yep. This is where we need... Um... This is where we need... Uh, what do you call it? The uh, Infernal Dragon, guys. Let's go. Alright. This is where we need Infernal Dragon, guys. This is a, a, a major battle we need Infernal D. Alright, so archers get in there. Alright, alright, alright. You got something done. Okay. I actually think we're going to lose this one. We don't do very well versus Lava Loon. With this deck. Lava Loon is not our preferred matchup. I'm hoping and praying... But he doesn't have uh, Infernal D in there. That's the only like the only chance we have. 
If he's got no Infernal D, we have a sliver of chance. Is that even grammar? A sliver of chances? Can you have a sliver of chance? I think I meant to say sliver of hope. But I said sliver of chance. So hopefully it means something. Yo, he far up me. Broski. Dude, barbarians are annoying. Barbarians are annoying, Broski. You know what? Hmm. Is he back to minions? I really want to go scar me grave red archers. He just went zap something like this. There's the minions. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Please three crown. I need the three crown right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to use the baby D just yet. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Was waiting for the balloonage. All right, we good. We good. We good, boys and girls. False alarm, people. I'm gonna go peck it right here with a graveyard on his tower. I suspect we'll see some barbarians here shortly. There they is. Dude, just give me the three crown. Come on, 800 health. Ay ay ay. That's so close. My pet goes right there. I just want the three crown for my crown chest. Is all. Right? Because we could have been we could have had crown chest by now. All right. So we get some gold here soon. We have chest booster unlocked. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I told you guys we're gonna keep going until we lose, basically. So however that, however long it takes to happen, uh, we should be good. So. Mr. Scramacha. What do you think of my archers? Hmm. Hmm. I guarantee he's got uh, po our graveyard in there. We just poisoned. We just poisoned and archers, and he's got a guaranteed graveyard. Dude, that poison did nothing to that furnace, dude. Yo, he's got a... F oh, no. Oh, to the nose. A max witch and a max furnace? We are dead. If he's got graveyard, guys, we're a certified dead sauce. Ah, uh, but that log actually helps us, guys. Dude, the witch can... Th what? The witch is annihilating that... What? Since when does the witch destroy the, uh... Dude, did you see the witch DPS versus my baby dragon? Did y'all see that? The baby dragon was getting like three shot by a witch. What? Dude, that's insane. That's absolutely insane, guys. He's he's got actually a fully max deck. Max wizard or not max wizard. Max witch. Dude, we're actually dead. This is this is it. This is the end of the video right here, guys. An Omega Knight? Max level as well? What? Look, watch this witch right here, guys. Watch this witch. It just gets destroyed by the witch. The baby dragon's dead. We got no chance. Literally, what do I what do I do, guys? We're so dead. I don't know what to do. Good game. We can't do anything. Ugh. The thing is, is we have to poison that furnace. Because if we don't, it just destroys our tower. Ay, ay, ay. Though, you know what? I'm thinking we shouldn't have poisoned. Look at that. That's... Oh, that was disgusting. That was disgusting, dude. Max everything except for the log. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't have poisoned those, those furnaces. If I would have kept poison for which we would have had a smaller chance. Or a bigger chance of winning. But that still sucked, dude. Wow. We just got annihilated. Honestly, though, if I would have, yeah. If I would have kept my, uh, if I would have kept my poison for the witch, probably would have been, been a bit better. She still wouldn't have died, though, because the poison is level 10. The witch is level 13. It wouldn't have done enough to, like, do anything to really kill her. All right, guys, let's keep on going over here. Uh, we're not going to let that one slow us down. 
Yeah, it was a rough battle, but we're not letting it slow us down. It was crazy. It definitely was. I probably should have saved my poisons. We know that by now. Let's move past it. And let's see how Brian is doing today. Brian, we got some archers. What do you got for us, Brian? Huh. Mr. Oh. That, my dear friends, is a log. Sir? Mmm. Do not like... Oh, yo, yo. Should he use that... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should he use the Pekka one, one tile earlier? Got this? Wait for it. Let's go. Nice. Here we go. I, I should have used that Pekka up here. But, um... It's okay. We st we're still doing okay. I'm having some bad flashbacks versus this witch, guys. The witch just absolutely destroys Pekka. You know what? I'm saving all of my... I'm saving all of my poisons for that witch. She's going down, down, guys. There we go. Nice. Dude, she actually just destroys a... Uh, a baby D, though, eh? We good, we good, we good. I'm a little bit concerned right here that he might try and go right lane. So I'm going to split some archers first. Here we are. Nice, nice, nice. Keep the Night Witch alive with that P.E.K.K.A. drop there. We're going to try. I think I'm going to try to use my poison. Ah. This is where I need like a mustard here. To snipe that. So look at this. Like, right there, that, that, that Night Witch just... just eh. I don't know. I don't even know, dude. Is she getting her value, the Night Witch? The wizard just destroyed her, so I don't even know if she's getting any value or not. Nice log. I'm gonna go hard here and see how it goes. Witch here, poison that jazz. Pekka Golem. Are we actually witnessing this right now, guys? Is this real life? Is this actual real life right now? Oh, this is gonna be huge value for us, guys. Dark Prince and uh Mega Knight into my P.E.K.K.A. Wizard here. Let's go. Let's go. Grave right here. Mm, that Golem could have not went down. I would have appreciated that Golem not going down here, to be honest. Okay. That's not bad poison value, though, eh? There we go. Nice. Okay. We're still not quite in the clear yet, guys. Okay. We good. We good. We good. Let's go. Grave right here, please. Yes. Nice. Mega Knight into my P.E.K.K.A. Appreciate that. That should be tower. Oh, ho, ho, ho. GG's, Brian. We got revenge against the witch. We have got revenge against the witch. G to the G's. Dude, that deck was disgusting. Wizard, witch, Mega Knight, Golem. All right, guys. Let's just keep on going over here. You know what? We're having some success. Let's keep it going. One misfortunate battle shouldn't let us down. Yo, yo, seriously? Shane? Oh, I was looking at my computer screen and not paying attention. Right? Right? Yo, if I would have had card rotation, card rotation, why you do me like this? If I would have had Night Witch there, guys, for the uh, in place of Baby Dragon, could have stopped that miner. Why you do me like this? Card rotation, please. Dude, I really don't even know what to. Night Witch, though? Like, do I keep it? Yo, what? What? How? What? How is that Baby D closer than the Wall Breakers? What? I don't even understand this game anymore. This game is so confusing. I don't understand it, guys. How was that closer? Literally, how? Yikes, dude. We're so dead. He's gonna go wall. Yep, right there. Let's go for it. The connects. I'm just gonna go grave right here, guys. I'm, I'm tired of this. 
No more Mr. Nice. Great. Great. Inferno Tower, great. Honestly, though? Honestly, though? Honestly, though? I'm pretty okay with that damage there, guys. Let's go. Nice, there we go. Wall breakers are insane, dude. They are insane. You can never respond to them in time. They're so fast. Now we just get one shot. Bats get one shot, please. One, two, three, four. I can deal with that. I'm okay with four shots. All right, dude. What you got? Mega Knight. Yoikes. Major yoikes. We know he's going to try and sneak in some wall breakers here, so let's be ready for that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Nice there. Come on. What you got? He's got Valkyrie too at Mega Knight. That's disgusting, dude. I just threw up in my mouth. Might be wondering where that where that Magwitch was going, guys. I don't even know. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Guess that one bat. Did you guys see that MVP bat right there? The tower was targeting the baby dragon. The night which popped. Bats came out. One bat survived and destroyed his tower. GG's dead shot, guys. Dude, that was insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're doing okay here, though, eh? We're doing all right. Gold right there. I'll take it. I'll take it. And we'll jump into one more. We'll keep it going. Mr. Like It plus one. Sir? Sir. How are you doing today? Like it. Archer split. Ah, oh, magic archer. No. No, not the magic archer. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, you got a log. Really, broski? Mm. Dang it. Magic Archer hits my Night Witch as well, on the tower. She really is dead weight, isn't she? She really is dead weight, isn't she? She does nothing for me right now. And he's got Skarmy as well. Dang it, Daniel. This sucks. We're at a really bad uh, place here so far. But we do get his Furnace done with that. Then we can go Archers for the Mega Minion. Hmm. Night Witch, I just don't know what to do with you. I don't know. You're just not doing it for me right now. It goes RG here, we're actually dead. Come on, don't have zap, don't have zap. Please don't have zap. Grave right here, please. You can log that back here. You can scar me that, which is actually really good. Okay, dang. We, you know what? We got a little bit of damage done. It's not, not, not the greatest, but not the worst either. It was adequate. Let's do one of these. We'll probably use the uh, Magic Archer or the Mega Mini right here again, sorry. One of these apps. Get here, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Goes in the chest. Tower goes down here. There should be tower at least. Mm, it's not. Okay. Like this. Let's go. Okay, his tower does go down here. Alright. 
We're not dead yet, boys and girls. We aren't dead yet. It was getting pretty dicey there for a minute, guys, but we're not dead quite yet. We're close to dead, but not quite dead. That's poison value. Let's do one of these. Nice. Get a zap ready for a furnace. Scar me. Like this. Go pack a go. Nice, there we go. Okay. So I'm okay with that interaction there, guys. Very, very risky, but worth it. Very, very risky, but worth. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go Night Witch here. He's gonna poison that, which I don't think was worth. Scar me here for the furnace. I'm gonna go... Just play defense here for a bit. Yes! The prediction P.E.K.K.A is what I meant. When I said play defense, guys, I meant prediction P.E.K.K.A. We knew that was coming down, guys. We knew. But I don't like that P.E.K.K.A going to the other lane there, guys. Honestly. Yes! Thank you, P.E.K.K.A. Thank you! I don't know what got into you, P.E.K.K.A., but you are on the ball today. Let's go. Let's go. Poison Skarmy here. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Get it, Pekka, get it. One shot, please, yes. Dude, that was insane. That was insane. 30 trophies. That was absolutely absurd. Dude, that was insane. Wow. Just wow. So, we've won one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 out of 14 battles so far. We pushed 300, 400 trophies in one push so far. Alright guys, skip it over here guys, we're doing pretty well. Might as well just keep going until we stop doing well. Dude, dude, man, this video's gonna be uploaded so late because we're recording so long today. But Daniel, Daniel attack power. I'm assuming that's what a- No, don't have Lava Loon. Daniel... ATP stands for Daniel Attack Power. If all my video gaming history has taught me anything, that's what ATP stands for. Once again, I find myself wondering what this uh, Night Witch is doing in my deck. I don't even find out to be that effective for anything at this moment. Let's go. Mm hmm. Put archers here. Goblin Gang Wizard Lava Hound. We haven't seen Balloon yet, so it's unconfirmed. Oh, there's the Balloon. There it is. We might actually have Free Spell, too. That Rage is getting some work done, guys. That Rage Balloon on the right. Got absolute work done. For sure. What night which left lane get some damage done? Is that this? Let's go. Bad archers are bad. We got both towers, a little bit of damage done. Tower left lane is pretty low. I do not like the two balloon shots though. That's the issue. I bet you he's got do you think he's got a clone in there? What are the chances we see clone in this battle, guys? Nightwitch Grave right here. Very, very risky, but Tower will definitely go down here. Honestly, the, the E Wizard there kind of makes it worth. The E Wizard Zap there, like, equalizes our trade, so we're not, like, dead. Um, I'm honestly not too concerned about that there. Get ready for a potential push right lane. He's got no Zap in hand, so he cannot stop our uh, Skarmy here. Do one of these. Poison this Jazz. Wait for it. Like this. The balloon just gets past regardless of whatever you do, dude. The balloon's just insane, man. You can't stop the balloon. It's just that, that OP. Balloon's just literally OP sauce. Let's go. Let's 
Nice. There we go, there we go. Got this. Go, 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 Pekka, go. Baby D locks on the so the tower is dead regardless of the Pekka not getting there. And then the graveyard. Oh, man, we could have two-crowned him. Daniel attack power. GG's, GG's, man. Very scary battle. Lava Hound, uh, Wizard, whatever. Lava Hound, Wizard, uh, Balloon. Very, very scary. Blue Archers? Yo, dude, really? <sighs> I'm gonna tell you guys a story about one thing I dislike in Clash Royale. I dislike it when I have P.E.K.K.A, but it's not in rotation with their Golem. Those Archers are just wasted. That's three Elixir just... Honestly, though, it's not really wasted anymore. You just want Barbarian Barrel for that. That basically prevents him from being that much of a waste. Wasn't it, Shaz? Let's go. Nice. So, can I afford a graveyard here? Mm. Probably could have, but I don't know. Once again, the Night Witch here, which is like, I don't want to... What I'm really thinking right now with the Night Witch. Like, if I had Ice Wizard in place of Night Witch, I think it'd be really, really good. You know? I just don't know, guys. What, 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 what should I do? Should I keep the Night Witch or no? Should I get rid of her? I'm thinking Ice Wizard, but the problem with Ice Wizard is it's level dependent. If your opponent has, like, a, a higher level, um... If your opponent has a higher level Bats or Skarmy, the Ice Wizard doesn't one-shot them. Nice. Might be able to go Graveyard this push, guys. He's got Nados out of rotation. Graveyard might here might be a substantial play to make in this battle here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, the Pekka got a shot. Yeah. You bet it did. Dude, Baby D, get out of here, man. Why is my Baby D so weak, guys? Let's go. Come on, let's go. Destroys that jazz. How much damage poison do? Anyone know? Should be enough, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, get your golem out of here. Disgusting. Golem at the bridge, guys. It's a pro play. Why would you nail my Pekka that way? I would have nailed the Pekka like further back and that was chasing the golem instead of pulling it into it. GG's well played, man. GG's well played. Nice, nice, nice. So, guys, we're on an absolute roll right now. We pushed, like, literally 400 trophies so far since when we started. We've won 15 battles out of 16 battles. 90, like, 4% win rate. Absolutely insane. Unstoppable deck, for sure. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here's the deck one more time. You want to go ahead and give it a shot yourself. Super fun strategy in Clash Royale. 4.0 Average Elixir, Pekka Graver Control. Uh, let me know down below, guys, what you think of the deck overall. Should I use Archers or should I use Infernal Dragon? Personally, really enjoyed having the Archers in there. I felt it performed a lot better than with the Infernal Dragon. My cycle was easier. Um, I could have support for my Pekka. Right now, the biggest thing is Night Witch. What do I do with her? I'm undecided because here's the thing. A lot of those battles, the Night Witch provided some good support, you know, Tower was distracted, one of the bats survived, and then went on to destroy the tower. But I find myself just often, like, not really having a good use for her in the deck. So I'm thinking of subbing her out for an Ice Wizard. But the issue is, is I don't actually have a NATO in my deck to synergize with the Ice Wizard. I could use NATO in place of something, but I really like having Zaspel to reset Infernos. I like having the Skarmy in there. People don't expect it. Um... So I find it pretty important on defense. So I mean, I could use Nato for Skarmy, but I feel like having 
the Skarmory is very, very helpful. So let me know down below, guys. Should I use the Ice Wizard in place of the Night Witch or not? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Ice Wizard, Night Witch, or should I just keep her in there? We can get him to level 10 and then potentially level 12 or level 11, sorry, afterwards. The only issue is that he is level dependent and does not kill level 12 bats or level 12 skeletons in one shot. Uh, so it's it's very interaction changing. It's one of those interactions that can change a card substantially to make it useless, basically. Like imagine using Magic Archer and having it have to two-shot each skeleton, right? You would you would never want to use it because it'd be so weak. It's the same thing with the Ice Wizard, right? So, I don't know. Undecided so far. But once again, guys, feel free to support me before buying any special offers of the shop by using credit code SHANE in your shop before doing so. It does expire every seven days, so make sure you double check it before you buy anything. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you guys enjoy these longer style videos or not. If I should cut them down and just include the best of battles. No idea. Just kind of experimenting with different things right now. So your feedback is very, very important. But it's the end. Really appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one is what I usually say, right? I always forget. But anyways, guys, we will see you. See you, not she you. We will see you in the next one.